This is what's called a complex circuit. It means that there are a combination of parallel and series combinations. Here's a little parallel combination, and it's connected to this series. So in order to understand this, we have to break it down and do uh, a procedure so we can uh, eliminate, put, put it into all one kind of circuit so we can understand it and then move forwards bit by bit. So here's a process by which we can do that. First, find the equivalent resistance between R2 and R3. So those are in parallel. So one over R2, three equals one over 30 ohms plus one over 50 ohms, which is five over 150 ohms plus three over 150 ohms or eight over 150 ohms. So R23 is 150 over eight, which is 75 over four, which is 18.75 ohms. That basically means, and we've now represented this circuit like this. Where that is R1, this is now R23, and this is R4. And now we're going to replace this with just one equivalent resistance. So, and now notice this is just a big series. So we can say R equivalent equals um, twenty ohms plus eighteen point seven five ohms plus another twenty ohms, which is fifty eight point seven five ohms. Now we want to find the current out of the battery. So that's that current. It's the same as this current which is the same as the current that comes out here and the current that comes back, but we see that that current has to split at that junction. So this is the current through R1 and R4 and through the battery, but it's not the current through R2 and R3. So we can say I battery, well, that's gonna be equal to V battery over R, equivalent, which is 10 volts over 58.75 ohms, which is 0 0.170 amps and find the voltage drop across R1, R2, 3, and R4. So uh, delta V1 is also going to equal delta V4. The voltage drops are going to be the same because it's the same current and the same resistance. And it's I battery times R, whichever, whichever R we're talking about. So um, in that case, it's going to be that 0 0.17 amps times 20 ohms, which is 3.4 volts. And delta V to three 
Well, that's going to be the 0 0.17 amps, but it's not 20 ohms, that's 18.75 uh, ohms. So, that's 3.2 volts. And if you look at 3.4 plus 3.4 plus 3.2, that's 10 volts, which is what it should be. So then find the voltage drop across R2 and R3. Well, this is one of the important things to realize. Delta V23, that has to be the same as delta V2 and delta V3 because they're in parallel. In parallel, remember, everything is the same. All the, vo the voltage drops are the same, that is. The voltage drops, not everything, the voltage drops. So those are all gonna be 3.2 volts. And that's, that's the real point, the real thing we have to understand, right? You have to understand what this voltage drop is so you can understand what each of these voltage drops are. Now, what's the current? Well, now we can find now we can find the current through each of these. Now we can find that current and that current. So we can say I2 is delta V2 over R2, which is 3.2 volts over 30 ohms. which is 0 0.11 amp, 0 0.107 amps. We'll, we'll go a little more precise. And I3 is gonna be delta V3 over R3. Well, delta V3 is the same 3.2 volts, but R3 was 50 ohms which is 0 0.064 amps. And just to check, 0 0.064 plus 0 0.107 is 0 0.17 amps, which is that value right there, which is what it should be, right? These two currents should add up to this current according to the junction rule. And we could find the power in each resistor now that we know all the currents and all the voltages, right? We know all those currents and voltages. In fact, let's go ahead and we could fill them in here if we wanted to. And we could say that this voltage drop here, that was, 3.2 volts. This is also 3. Uh, here, maybe make sure it's, we'll do 3.2 volts. And this drop here is, um, I'm sorry. These ones are 3.4 volts. That's 3.4 volts. And these ones are 3.2 volts and 3.2 volts. And the current here is 0 0.17 amps. That's this 0 0.17 amps. But then each of these are, are different. This one is 0 0.064 amps, and this one is 0 0.107 amps. So then P1, that's also going to, and this is also the same 0 0.17 amps. So P1 and P4 are going to be the same because they're both that 
volts times 0 0.17 amps. which is 0 0.578 watts. P2 is going to be 3.2 volts times 0 0.107 amps. Point three four watts and P three is going to be the same three point two volts times zero point zero six four amps. So three point two times point zero six four is 0 0.205 watts. And what's the power from the battery? Well, that's going to be 10 volts times that 0 0.17 amps, which is going to be 1.7 watts. And one check we could make is do all the powers add up? So if we do 0.578 plus 0.578 plus 0.342 plus 0.205, that is 1.7. So it adds up as it, correct, as it correctly should. Um, if you're wondering why we add this value twice, it's because it's both P1 and P4, right? So hopefully you realize what we did is we combined these two together and we were able to then find the equivalent resistance and the current, the total current through the circuit. And we found all the voltage drops. And one of the realizations we had is that the voltage drop across the two, three combination is the same as the voltage across two and the voltage across three. Once we knew those voltages, we could find the currents through each branch. And then once we knew all the voltages and all the currents, we could find all the powers. Okay.